This episode of Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by GoDaddy. If you took an egg and filled it with hydrogen, what would happen? Well, on today's Scientific Tuesdays, I plan on answering that very question. Hydrogen is estimated to make up 75% of the universe, and most elements generally have a hydrogen base. How exciting! But seriously, today I'll demonstrate how to make a hydrogen gas and ultimately make it go boom. Now, in order to generate hydrogen gas, we're going to need to put zinc together with some hydrochloric acid. So I'll go ahead and pour the zinc into the container. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to measure out a cup of hydrochloric acid. Now always wear a glove when handling any chemical. As you can see, it's dripping a little bit. You definitely don't want to get that on your skin. Once we've poured it in, the reaction will begin to take place and you will see the hydrogen gas coming out of the top. Now we need to harness this. So we're going to add this plug here with a little tube coming out of it. Once we've got that, I'm going to place the hollowed out egg on top and capture the hydrogen gas inside the egg. Now I've sped this up for you so you don't have to get bored, but 30 seconds should do. Now I'm going to plug the holes and wait until the next step. Now I got my hands on a model rocket engine igniter. Now this is gonna allow me to get a safe distance away from the egg and still detonate it. Now what you have to do is hook the two prongs of the igniter to a fuse that you have. Once it's connected and you press the button, it'll cause a spark. This spark, once inside the egg, will cause it to explode. So here we are, we have an egg full of hydrogen and an itchy trigger finger. Let's find out exactly what's gonna happen. Now for test number one, we're just gonna use a simple chicken egg, but don't worry, it's gonna get better. This is just a good way to show you what's gonna happen when we put the hydrogen in there and ignite it. Let's fire it off. Now if you thought that was fun, let's try an emu egg, which is significantly larger than a chicken egg. Once I'm a safe distance away, I will put in my safety key and make sure that the fuse is ready to go. Much better. So today we learned that zinc and hydrochloric acid generate hydrogen gas, which is extremely flammable. We also learned that emu eggs are definitely superior to chicken eggs. Now I wanna thank everyone for watching so far, and we have listened to you, so we've put the ads down at the end of the video. So if you stay tuned after the ad, we've thrown in some bonus footage for you, and you can see a failed attempt with an ostrich egg. Get reliable and secure web hosting without a long-term contract. GoDaddy's hosting plans are better than ever with 99.9% .9 uptime, free 24-7 support, and a lot more. You can also grab GoDaddy's free iPhone, Android, or BlackBerry app and order right from your phone and much, much more. Check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy for a list of all the best deals or punch in Science1 at checkout and get 10% off your order. Thanks for sticking around. Here's that ostrich egg experiment I was talking about. Now this did fail, sort of. See, as you can tell, the fire's just spitting out the back. Now, this was what we call a delayed reaction. Stay tuned, check it out, and enjoy. And we'll see you next week. Hold on, hold on, let me turn the side on. Go. Go away. Also, that may explode into flame. The inside. Good night, folks.